What's going on YouTube? It's your boy K Dash, and um, I'm just bringing you a little behind the scenes footage of the Drake and Migos tour. Um, shout out to my homie. I ain't gonna say no names because I don't want to get him in trouble. But um, yeah, he was able to take me backstage, and we had full access to the whole tour. We could go everywhere, anywhere in the building except for Migos and Drake dressing room, which I wasn't trying to go in there anyway. But shout out to them boys. But um, yeah, man, they had a pretty live tour. I'm not going to even front. I got there super late and I only was able to catch Drake set. But the Migos did come back out and do a few songs with Drake. But um, yeah, I was able to check out a couple of the tour buses, you know, get some behind the scene footage on those just to see the setup, see how, you know, different tour buses have different layouts depending on what your bread pay for. Um, or what your label put you on. Drake's not riding no tour bus. I mean, he has tour buses, but he's flying. Um, what else? So, when we get to the tour, um, my boy was like, wherever you want to go, we can go wherever you want to go. He was like, but I suggest that you see the show from above. You know me, I'm like, yeah, I want to be on the floor, like, right next to the stage. But, um... It's really a gift and a curse because yeah, you're like five feet away from Drake and it's like a personal show. However, you're really not seeing the whole show unless you're kind of up top, but the audio is different above than below. So, I mean, it's just, I don't know, I guess you just pick and choose whatever your money pay for, whatever your preference is. Um, so me personally, I said, okay, so I want to see the show from different levels. I spent majority of my time on the floor, but I wanted to see because I wanted to get footage for this video. So let's let me show you this clip right quick. He wanted to, so he wanted to. He he broke the whole show down for me, and, and I appreciate it because I got to see it from a side that I don't see a concert from. You normally just go to a concert, you see the artist perform, boom, did they put on a good show or not? That's it. However, I wanted to see it from the production side and behind the scenes. So the first day they build the whole set, you know, from the mother grid and putting up the speakers, the stage, everything. Normally the second day is when the artists will go do sound check or something. And then the third day or that night will be the show. So he took me this one clip. We thought we was going all the way to the top where the mother grid was so he can show me the layout. But we ended up like in the attic of the damn uh, Toyota Center or something. I don't know. Pitch black. I don't even know how we got there. But the guy on the elevator let us up there. Whatever. Um, so, you know, two key things of this show that I thought was pretty pleasant was excuse my squeaky chair was um Drake had like two monitors on him and one was like a sensor so that way the stage knew where he was standing and they can like backlight him because he had parts of the show where these these screens come down and it's projecting like it could project like 360 on the screens, like different things. And Drake had originally canceled a few shows because they didn't have the graphics right. And I don't blame them because some of these screens wrap around, you know, the stage 360. And if you don't make graphics that wrap around and you're just trying to use a regular monitor or screen, just a square, it doesn't look right. So I, I get where he comes from. Um, as an artist, and he wants it to look right for his fans. So the other monitor he had on him was for these drones. Now it was these small drones that they flew around him, which was I thought was pretty playable. Um, and so that monitor, just so that the drones know where he's at, so they don't run into him or whatever. But that was pretty live. And then the Ferrari. So one of my homeboys, he tells me that he thought the Ferrari was real. There's no way that they can make a, a real Ferrari float like that. Definitely not over people's heads. <laughs> so um, that would definitely be a liability. So I'm standing, you know, 
backstage and I see them coming through with the car and it's like a paper mache and it has like it's just think of like a drone it has like fans on the bottom it's like maybe six of them and the guy he's flying it with the drone just like a, a drone and he doesn't even fly it around the whole ring it's on one side of the ring it goes this way I mean one side of the concert the stadium it goes this way he turns it around it comes back and they take it backstage and it sits on this little thing until the next show so that was pretty player but you know it it's a definitely attention seeker like it makes a lot of people talk you know give them different things to talk about the show drake put on a dope show and um i, I thank my homeboy for giving me the opportunity to have that experience i was i was about to take a picture of the backstage pass but he was like no that's a no-go because people done made duplicates off of pictures and this is the third pass on that tour so I said, hey, I ain't trying to get you in trouble. It is what it is. Um, but if you like more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. I have an upcoming one with the artist Young Blue with some um, up close footage and everything of that. So I'll drop that maybe in a day or two. It's your boy K Dash signing off 100.